Drum, Philly Film, Drum, Games, Drum. It's over. Welcome back to Philly Film Sewers. You, you can drop either way. Get killed by something like yeah, that. now, you can use your crash bombs to get those. And hopefully, uh, there'll be energy things to get. I guess not. I mean, you can use... I mean, you can try it and get that, but it'll basically... If nothing else shows up, you'll be back at that level. So it's your risk. Mm. Eh. Okay. Because you... Yeah, you will need these. Not for the boss in this part, but uh, the next boss. You need to have a complete... Uh, full energy for him. He's, yeah, there you go. Yeah. <coughs> so welcome to the rusty sewer, as I always called it. Oh boy. Underwater, so you have yeah, so if you miss a platform, you're dead no matter what, because those spikes. Will... Oh, and you have to watch out. Okay, it didn't happen that time, but it'll, it'll, you'll see it here in a minute when you jump. So just jump to the best of your ability. Oh, that. Yeah, that guy. Oh, and be careful how you jump. Mm -hmm. Oh, before you go down, you have to be very careful about how you drop because the next few screens down are nothing but those mines. Oh, good. So be very careful. I yeah. See. Yeah, it's. It is. Awesome. Yes, it is awesome. But. While you weren't watching, uh, while you guys did not get to witness our, um, our grinding, we earned, like, 30 lives or something ridiculous like that. Man, I don't know what the official tally is. <laughs> we found a lot. Yeah, we did, because, um, while we were trying to get energy for our weapons and ourselves, we got more, uh, Mega Man hit. Usually... It, well, when I used to play when I was younger, I would just jump and it would jump underneath me. It would never... Um, yeah, I don't really know. But yeah, we pro I, we have a ridiculous amount of lives now. Yeah, it is very, very rough. Well, I think we have a ridiculous amount of lives then. Yes, it is. Whee! Yep, they're dropping it. Dropping like Bye, a, everybody! <laughs> just dropping like a brick. Ah. <laughs> uh. I mean, that always has been a question that I've always, that I've had. Mega Man is a robot. He's not a little boy like a lot of people try to make him out to be. Yeah. He is a robot. So, being a robot, he probably weighs a considerable amount of weight. Yeah, I, 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 yeah so I can only imagine like what would actually happen if he did fall from a considerable height. And landed on something. Crater it. Yeah, probably. Nice. There you go. Mm, not so much. Try not to move over too far. Yeah, it, it, it's very fine. You, it, it, it's very fine control there. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Foof, whoosh. I'm hitting terminal velocity. <laughs> Just blast the water out of the area. <laughs> Hey, Mega Man's an expert cannonballer. Just watch. Boom. Shoot the fish, make myself feel better. <laughs> yeah, your lemons propel off their bodies. Take that. That's for Jonah! Yay! <laughs> 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 oh. Hope I don't. Too, yeah, you. you it, yep, it, that's that. That's like one of those things in this game. It actually, has a trademark for a lot of the Mega Man games that you have a particular part where you have to just drop and everything's just based on faith. And I also like how his air bubbles go out of the water. Yeah, they just float away. Yep. You... That's very. The creative decisions behind that were just astounding. So right, the decisions right. to make these things one-hit kills on those yeah. stupid spike things. Yep. 
But that's just a trademark. That's just a Mega Man trademark. They've always had that. Yeah, there's always been the spikes of various amounts that. Let me see if I give it a shot. Okay. Let's see if I can't do it. This is weird. Usually you just come in and stomp a game. And oh, it hasn't been happening much this game, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, this game, not so much. Yeah. But then again, I think th you said this is your first Mega Man you've ever played, right? Yeah, I've never touched a Mega Man from this game. So. so. Yeah, I mean, but then again, every other other game I introduce you to, you just destroy it. Especially, well, like, but then again, most of the time you're playing me, so that's really just. <laughs> I don't know, like Punch Out would be okay. Yeah, Punch Out. Would, yeah, I really wish I could have. I mean, I could use show it, but it's uh, he, Eric just grabbed the Wii version of Punch Out and just leveled it. I, I mean, literally got to the second to last guy, uh, Super Macho Man. Without, li with little failure, whatsoever. It was impressive. God damn it! We've died like four or five times. I don't even know how many lives we have. Let's see. How many we got left? Two. Two left. I think we came into this level with a nine. <laughs> yeah, something ridiculous. We had a lot. We did have a lot, but yeah, like when Eric played Punch Out, it. I just. There was hardly any commentary to it. It's just my jaw dropped. <laughs> Sitting there going, uh, like, holy uh, fuck. It's just, Eric is just dominating. I'm, I'm very impressed. Oh, who's this? King Hippo? No problem. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> fuck. Alright, come on. Oh, I am so brushing with death already. Yeah, Come cool. on. Come on. Right up the ass. Yeah, well, I think it ripped my hand off first, and then it took me up the ass. Mm -hmm. Actually, it I took it up the ass. If it took me up the ass, it would be a totally different meaning. Yep. Language, Sam. Use your grammar. You tell that to your students all the time, and yet you can't do it in real life. Congratulations. You're an idiot. Holy shit. Meanwhile, I'm just... Like I said, one of the things that I've always wondered about is just this level in general. Like, this is like a rusty colored sewer. And I'm just thinking, like, how scummy all this water is and shit. Because this is not the prettiest colored level I've ever seen. In fact, it's probably the ugliest colored level, period. Yeah. Like, this is some shades of brown that make no sense whatsoever. Up, up, up. Yep, yeah, alright, I made it. As long as I don't fuck up. And I'm dead. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, here you've got this scummy rust color, and then you come to this, and it's like, ugh. This is not much better. Die. Fine. 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 You want to play this game? I'll play this game. Let's go. Let's rumble. Um, okay. This guy. Yep. I need... Prepare yourself for flashing if you can't handle uh, bright flashing shit. Because this guy's going to go up just like the dragon. And he's kind of useless. So, this one's kind of a reprieve. Let's see that. Yeah. It's like the worst thing that he did was he spit out one of those helmet wearing things. Yep. He was, he was all flash and no action. I mean, it's one of those choices when you're 8-bit, really. I mean... You can be graphically beautiful and useless, or kind of shitty looking and awesome. <laughs> I don't really think there's... I don't think... I don't think in the 8-bit realm you can be both. Okay, so... Okay, this is the level... Holy shit. This is... The, uh, make sure your crash is charged completely. Good. Uh, then, after that... Metal would help. Uh, after that, eh, I think you should be fine. So, anything else you want to put on. Uh, and then, also in this board, you're going to have, uh, whenever there's an em like a room without, or <coughs> anyway, when there's a room, uh, without, um, enemies, oh, you'll be fine. You can just walk them and slash them in the face. Um... What you're gonna need is the bubble lead. You're gonna you're gonna need it uh, because right here, uh, 
that. Oh. The thing is invisible. So, well, but now that you know that, maybe you'll be able to jump over it. Or you would have to use your one or three or something stupid. Okay. Especially if you want the, um, or that. Okay. So keep that in mind, because that means right above that, uh, is another ho invisible hole when you scroll up to the top. Yep. Because what you can do with a bubble lead, uh, in this board is, uh... I suppose when you shoot it, it, yeah. it, it falls yeah. Yeah, there. Yeah, so right there's the hole. Or you could just use one, and then go through, the, through that, and then go up to that ladder. Yeah. That'd probably be better. Because, yeah, you can, you can use one in this like you do uh, Holy Water in Simon's Quest. And so, because in Simon's Quest you can throw Holy Water to expose holes in the wall, uh, holes in the floor. And, and you gotta do it up here as well. Not this part right here that you're walking on, but uh, well, where the spikes are, you definitely have to run a bubble lead. It's gray, yeah. Yeah, so relatively close to the to the ladder. And then they are here. Just not... The <laughs> second and third one has it. But I don't know exactly where the... Probably, like, yeah, right there in front of him. Yeah. So you probably just... It'd probably just be easier to kill him and then w hit, use one to get the energy tank. Because you will need it. Well... When you're yeah, facing you're this, when, when you when you face this boss, you need it because if you fuck up, that's it. There is no redemption whatsoever. At least that's how I've always viewed it. I mean, other people can do it, but I sure as hell don't have the patience to do it. So yeah, just walk. You're fine. There's no more invisible holes. <laughs> now, be very careful. <laughs> yeah, let me see that. Um, because I love the way this place is designed. This is just wonderful. I was gonna say probably metal would help you out here. Things done. Because there's gonna be a couple. You can just jump down and get there by now. You don't even have to. So just be these next few screens. Just be very careful. Okay, you're gonna have to time your drop. And then you can't. I'm screwed, aren't I? Yeah. Yay! Next time on Philly Film Games, we're screwed, aren't we? Yeah, we are. <laughs>